what is palindromic word if i read from the left and if i read from the right both the sides it looks same so let me give some examples refer r e f e r and another example is noon n o o n similarly for uh, numbers if i read from the left if i read from the right both the side it looks same like 5115 or 121 so these are the palindromic numbers but i am going to discuss here today that if i start from any number that is not a palindromic number am i uh, able to reach at a palindromic numbers by some repeated additions or anything so let us get started with the presentation now i will discuss palindromic numbers palindromic primes rep unit palindromes first 20 palindromic numbers light rail number how to find a palindromic number from non palindrome number so let's get started palindromic numbers means those numbers that reads the same from the left and the right like if i say 101 so from left hand side it is also 101 and from right side also it is 101 so there are so many numbers like 121 141 272 so from left side from the right side reads same so if i write four digit 5 4 4 5 this is also palindromic numbers most importantly all single digit numbers are palindromic numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 all the single digit numbers are palindromic numbers now palindromic primes palindrome numbers are palindromic numbers now palindromic primes palindrome numbers and that is primes also they are called palindromic primes so let me give some examples 11 is a prime number and palindromic number also 101 then 131 151 181 192 313 313 343 343 773 777 797 797 798 919 dot 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 going on and palindromic primes are a great field of interest in mathematics now rep unit palindromes so the definition of palindromes is from left hand side and from the right hand side looks same reads same but here if i repeat a digit so many times so is it uh, following the definition of palindromes yes of course from left hand side also 2 2 2 from right side also 2 2 2 so 1 1 1 this is a palindromic numbers 11 palindromic number rep unit palindromes 1 1 1 1 1 1 palindrome number and rep unit rep unit means repeating the un same number again and again now first 20 palindromic number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 all i told that single digit numbers are palindromes hence comes 11 22 33 44 55 66 77 77 77 and so on let us move to our next slide how to find a palindromic number from non palindrome number this is very important and this is only our field of uh, interest uh, for this video i feel so if i take any number so let me take the number as 49 okay and the digital sum is 13 49 is non palindromic number but i want to reach to palindromic number for that i will use iterative process of repeating the uh, addition repeating the addition by reversing the digits repeating addition by reversing the digits means 49 so i will reverse its digits 49 plus 94 and then i will add and i will write my answer 143 now the resulting number is 143 again i will re reverse the digits and then i will add 341 so i will get my answer as 484 now 484 is a palindromic number similarly if i take one number like 78 78 reverse digit is 87 so if i add i will get the number as 
now the resulting number 165 is not a palindromic number so add with 561 till then i have to uh, continue when i am getting the palindromic numbers at that stage i have to stop so if i add i am getting 726 again non palindromic number so 726 plus 627 I am getting 1353. So, with 1353, I have to add uh, 3531 and I am getting my answer as 4884. Is it a palindromic number? Yes, it is a palindromic number. Now, the question arises uh, what is leech rail number? Before reaching to this leech rail number, one point I want to mention if you take a number uh, whose digital sum is 17 then you have to repeat uh, this iterative process of addition till uh, 24 steps so uh, and then at last you will get the palindromic number now what is literal numbers if a number which is not a palindromic number of course if you do repeated repeated addition but still you are never getting a palindromic number then those numbers are called literal numbers so, a uh, non palindromic numbers, if it is never becoming a palindromes using iterative addition procedure, what I have shown here, then those numbers are called literal numbers. So, one example I am giving 196, 295, 394, all these numbers are literal numbers. So, there are so many literal numbers and the mathematician still working on it. Now, unknown facts. Square of rape unit palindrome is always a palindromic number. So, rape unit already I said repeating unit. Okay. So, 11. 11 square is 121. So, these are rape unit palindromes. Its square is always a forming a palindromic number. Similarly, 111 square is equal to 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Now, 1111 square is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. 3, 2, 1 and so on. It's going on. A two digit number having sum of its digits as 10 always forms a palindrome if you multiply with 99 or 999 or 9999. So, let me give some examples. So, 73 into 99. 73 digital sum is 10. If you multiply, you will get 7227. This is a palindromic number. Now, if I take another number as 19, 19 if I multiply with 999, the result is 18981. This is a palindromic number. Let me take another number as 28 and let me multiply with 4 nines. 4 nines. So, I am getting 279972. And you can continue this way. Any number if I take 37 into 99999 the result is coming 369963 so this is also again a palindromic number see the pattern given below 37 if i multiply with 33 1 2 2 1 which is a palindromic number 37 if i multiply with 333 3, 3, then also palindromic number forms 37 into 3333 3, 3, 3, again palindromic number forms 37 into 66, 37 into 666, 37 into 666 also forms palindromic numbers. Now, if you want to multiply with 99, 999, 9999, then also gives a result which is a palindromic number. Today, I am ending my session here. If you like my video, please subscribe the channel and comment in the comment box. And let us meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.